right, muchachos, we're going to do 7.02 fit dash mood. All right, so I already have this problem downloaded and opened up in Dr. Record. So there are two problems, A and B. Let's just get started with problem A and give myself some space here. All right, so it says design a data definition to represent a movie, including its title, the duration, ratings, the rating, right, as in the age rating, and then the genre. All right, so pause the video and try to work it on your own. I'm going to go for spoilers in three two and one. All right. So we're going to need a compound data definition here because we're representing units of, you know, a thing, right? A movie in this case. So we're going to call it movie. So define struct movie, and we're going to have the fields title, duration, and then rating, and then genre. All right. So how do we make a movie? Well, movie is make movie, call to the make movie function. Right, and it's going to need a string for the title. Duration is going to be a natural number. Rating is going to be a string, right? And genre is also going to be a string. How do we interpret these fields? So, title just is kind of self explanatory, but let's just write it and be more verbose, anyways. Title means title, right? Duration is time in minutes, right? Is how long in minutes means how long in minutes all right rating uh is not like you know five star rating or something it's like you know, the age rating means age rating and then genre uh just means genre right and it's kind of self-explanatory from the field name itself all right all right and in the future we'll start we're going to start omitting you know the sort of obvious ones Right, but you know, sometimes things are not too obvious. Sometimes, you know, things that you think are obvious are not too obvious to others. All right, so anywho, that is the data description done. That is the interpretation done, all right? Then we're gonna write all the access surface signatures. So uh, by defining the struct, we get a lot of access functions to access the individual, individual fields, right? So we get movie-title, which is gonna consume a movie and produce string right and then same for all the other fields right so duration rating and genre whoops can i give myself too much space here so we have duration right the rating and then the genre so genre does produce a string rating also produces a string but duration is a function that you know consume a movie and produce a natural number all right, so that is that step done. And let's move on to the examples. So examples, examples, examples. I'm just gonna use this table here. You guys can look up movies that you wanna encode on your own. All right. All right, so this, these are quite a lot of movies. So let's just do a couple and then we'll work our way back to the step and create more examples as we may find like, hey, you know, we kind of need to test this case. So I'm gonna do define fight club to be make movie. So it's going to be the title is Fight Club. And let's see, duration is 139 minutes. Good movie, by the way, guys. These are all like my sort of recommended movies. So uh, comment below if you've seen any of them and what do you think of them? All right, so there we go. That's Fight Club, uh, The Matrix. So let's just do this one also. So I'm just going to copy and paste this because I'm a bit too lazy to type. Oh, there we go. So Matrix. Matrix. So it's going to be called the Matrix. Matrix. How long was that movie? It was 136 minutes and then feel like 136 minutes. Also a good movie. Uh, let's just do, you know, sort of some of these. All right, so The Social Network and Wreck It Ralph. All right. So we're going to say, uh, let's see, The Social Network. Well, we'll do wreck it Ralph, actually. All right, so define, you know, wreck it. Well, we'll just call it Ralph as the name of the variable. Movie, wreck it Ralph. How long was this movie? 101, it's rated G. And its genre is, what is genre? It's also an action movie. Eh, kind of. All right, let's do one last one for good measure. Right, we're gonna say Gone Girl. Well, we'll say Edge of Tomorrow. 
All right. So edge of tomorrow. There we go. All right, we're gonna call it edge. And it is 113 minutes. And it is PG-13. All right, also an action movie. All right, so Ralph is action, action. Kinda need a drama here, so I'm gonna do the social network also. So, social. It's also a good movie, guys. Um, I thought it was gonna be like about Facebook. Like, hey, it's gonna like glorize Facebook, but it was actually pretty interesting, right? It's like um, good drama. And not something about, hey, you know, Mark is like the coolest guy. So, all right, what was that rated? PG-13, okay, all right. So that's a good amount of test cases, examples of data. All right, and let me just check myself off for that step. All right, so next is a function template that processes this data. All right, so anything that consumes a movie, so we call it MV, all right, has to, you know, probably destructure some of the fields here. It doesn't have to, but it's good to remind ourselves, you know, laying out the foundation of what we have to work with. So movie dash, what is it? Movie dash duration of the given movie, movie dash rating of the given movie, and then movie dash genre of the given movie. All right, so that is data done. Now let's move on to functions. All right, so now let's move on to problem B. So here we go. Depending on your mood, sometimes you want a quick 90 minute comedy, and other times a 200 minute action movie. Design a function fit mood, huh? That consumes a movie, a natural number, and a string, right? The goal is to determine if the given movie has a duration no longer than the provided upper limit, and is of the same given genre, all right? So pause the video and try to work it on your own. I'm going to go with spoilers in three, two, and one. All right, so assume that you guys took a good swing at it. So let's just get started with the how to design a function step. Admittingly, this problem is kind of poorly worded on my end, but that's what the design recipe is for. We're trying to take a sort of poorly worded, vague problem and work it out to a well-structured solution. All right, so we know what to call this function. It's going to be fit mood, huh? So fit mood, huh? All right, and it's gonna consume, let's see, so all the arguments are listed here. We want to consume, let's see, uh, wait, no, it's right here. So design a function to move that consumes a movie, so that's gonna be the first argument, a natural number, so a natural number, and then a string, and then produce, let's see, the goal is to determine if the given movie has a duration no longer than the forward upper limit and is at the same value, all right? So fit mood, does this fit my mood or does it not fit my mood, right? That's a true or false sort of question over there. So it's gonna produce a Boolean. All right, so now that we decoded that uh, next to the preface statement, so we can sort of shrink this whole thing down. So let's try to, you know, word this more nicely. So fit mood, all right. So produce true if the given movie is within the given time limit and the given genre, all right? Much more shorter and more concise, all right. So next is going to be the stub, so fit mood, huh? All right, so I'm going to call it MV. Natural number is going to be mins. Oh, we'll call it time, actually. And then the string, what does the string represent again? Oh, yeah, that's right. It represents the genre we want to find for the movie. And it produces a boolean. Let's just use false for this dummy stub. All right, so now is the example step. So check expect. All right, fit mood, huh? So let's say for this example, we only want to watch um, an action movie of, let's see, uh, an action movie of, what example site I code here, of 136 minutes, right? So, you know, we want, you know, this length movie, and it has to be of type action. All right, so that's what we're going to say. So we're going to give it a movie, so let's just give it, you know, Fight Club first, All right? And next is the time, so, hmm, 139, 136 minutes, right? That seems good. And it has to be an action movie. There you go. And this, does this, is Fight Club within the time limit, right? No, Fight Club is 139 minutes. We want a movie that falls under 136 minutes. 
maybe we're in a hurry or, hurry or something, right? Uh, and then is it, the genre is the same though, but the duration is not. But this problem specifies that, hey, we got to reject you because it has to fall within both these constraints. All right, the matrix does follow these two constraints, right? So the matrix is also 136, is exactly 136 minutes and is an action movie. All right, so that should produce true. All right, let's give one more test here. Something that's lower. So let's see, edge of tomorrow, which is called edge. That's the variable it's stored in. Is that under 136 minutes? Yes, it is. It's 113 minutes and it is of the same genre, right? It's an action movie. So this should also produce true. All right, so that should be enough tests. I'm gonna run this, might be missing a few, but I guess we'll find out. So let's see, uh, actual value false stuff is true. That's good, that's good. We're just, you know, just mismatches, no syntax errors or anything. All right, so now let's replace the stub with the template. So we can use this as a starting point that destructures parts of the movie, but we've got to change it because it has to consume three arguments. So if it made a ha, huh? so MV, the time, right, the given time, and the given genre. All right, so now really pause the video and try to work through the solution on your own. This should be all the mental scaffolding needed to solve this problem. I'm going to go with spoilers in three, two, and one. All right, so let's see. Let's start with the genre. Well, let's start with the time first because that's what's passed in first. You can start with either one. So if, let's see, if it's within the time limit. So we're going to need the time of the movie which is in the duration field. So movie dash duration should get the time and the duration out, right? So let me do that. So if that's less than actually, less than or equal to, all right, less than or equal to the given time that we specified here, all right? And, all right, there we go. The other constraint is the genre, right? So we're going to need the movie's genre here and it has to match the given genre that we want to watch, which is stored in this argument here. So we're going to need string equal, huh? Cause they're both strings. So is this genre equal to the given genre? All right. And it says, I think it says to reduce the title. So no, this is produced true if the given movie is within the title or not. All right. So it's either true or false, my bad. So we don't need, we really don't need to use the title order rating, right? So we're just ignoring, uh, let's see, title and rating entirely. We're just getting true false. All right. So we're gonna reduce true if so, and false if so. So now we run the test, it should pass. And so all three tests do pass. And we can simplify this because if this is true, produce true. Well, if this is true, then just produce, just be the expression, right? So we can just erase this if and make this shorter, all right? Same behavior, just let's code control I to re-indent. And there we go. And so they do pass all these three tests. I highly recommend running this to the stepper for a more detailed breakdown. But anywho, I'm going to submit this assignment now. Fit mood, so 102. All right, let's see what our score is. Uh, let's see, error in our code, let's see. Uh, define expected value, but not variable at time, fit mood, ha. Huh? Hmm, define expected a variable, but found a keyword at time. All right, so it looks like this time is actually a reserved um, keyword, right? Uh, in the server side. So let's just call it like uh, mins, right? Because that's what the time in mins is. All right, and now let's try submitting it, all right? I always get to run into these errors because I kind of never expected that to happen. So in case you get this error, right, that's how you fix it. Uh, so there we go. Try to read the error message carefully and going, oh, well, it has to do with this variable. So maybe if I try changing it somehow, it needs to change. All right. So let's see if we've written enough tests, right? There's probably more tests on the server side, but let's make sure that, you know, we pass the server side's more extensive test suite. All right. So I'm going to log in here. Do, 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 four out of four. All right. Thank you for watching, He-Man. 
If you wish to interact with more of your kind, join our Discord link in the description or on screen. If you want to aid in my quest for world domination, consider hitting the sub button. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, thumbs down if you didn't. Any questions, comments, or suggestions, fire away below. Also, check out the annotations on screen for the next relevant video.